And Broncos will start things off here. Cat Georgiatis leading the conference in digs per set. We'll give it a try here to start us off as the Broncos and Cougars are underway. Allen and this one is going to find its way out despite the fact that Neve Tuileta was there for the dig, but that one just went out. And so it's an early start. one nothing BYU. Whitney Bauer is setting that one. And she'll go back to serve here. Lefty serve coming. To Iletta, Michelle Schaefer. Handled on the back row by her former teammate, Gretchen Reiner. Tipped over, and that one will drop. Credit Aaron Livingston. So 2 nothing. Livingston, the six-foot outside hitter from Southern California. And it's Bauer again serving. Deep for Georgiatis to Iletta setting San Giacomo. BYU was there. Bauer setting Livingston. Deep to Iletta. San Giacomo, and the block is there. Kerber turning Santa Clara back with Kennedy Eschenberg. Three nothing Cougars out of the gate here. Bauer serving again. Georgiatis back for San Giacomo, and that one is delivered wide. And it's a BYU side that has not lost a set since the loss at Pittsburgh back on September 10th. That is five consecutive sweeps for the Cougars. To Ilenta. And that one is knocked right back down as Anna Stuckey tapped it over, but I think they'll credit Kennedy Eschenberg. Yes, indeed, with the kill on that one. And it's 5 nothing. Bauer, Schaefer to Iletta, San Giacomo, deep. Gretchen Reiner to Anita Dig. Georgiatis. To Iletta again, this time Schaefer, Bauer, Livingston. As the rally continues, Schaefer, and that one eats up Bauer, who had to shift her body to try and get into a good position, but Michelle Schaefer gets the Broncos on the board, and it's 5-1. to one. Schaefer, 19 kills, 7 aces against St. Mary's in the loss on Tuesday. And she's back to serve here. Maddie Allen. Kerber in. The big swing from Kenzie Kerber. And Kenzie is from Chino Hills. Transfer from the University of Utah. Grad student, I should say. Last week, the WCC Offensive Player of the Week. And she puts her side up 6-1. to one. And the Broncos, Michelle Schaefer, unable to get that into a position for Tui Lenta. So the Broncos maybe a little bit slow to start. And when you are slow to start against a team like BYU, you will see a score like this. Cougars serving. San Giacomo headed toward the bench. Maddie Allen able to bump it over. This is Schaefer. And this one will end up out. Maddie Allen, good position, could not keep it in play. And the Broncos have back-to-back -back points for the first time tonight. San Giacomo serving for Santa Clara here. Down 7-2, opening set. Allen. And what a delivery from Taylor Ballard Nixon. One of the five all West Coast Conference first team selections coming into this year. She's the senior outside hitter from Clovis. And earns a kill to make it eight to two Cougars. Georgiatis. Sophia Tolino blocked by Kerber. 
And Kerber, that's her second block to make it 9-2. And it'll be Allen back to serve for BYU. Georgiatis had trouble with it. Tolino, that one is long. Back in Santa Clara with the Broncos trail in this first set to the BYU Cougars, 10-2. And back to serve for BYU, Maddie Allen. Trying to continue the momentum after the timeout. Georgianis, Tolino, off the block. To Elenta setting, Schaefer. That one is deep. And tapped over by Ballard Nixon. This is Tolino. Nice cross court. And Sophia Tolino earns the kill. And out of the timeout, the Broncos have a point. BYU hitting 556. Broncos still in negative territory. Anna Stuckey, the freshman from Italy, will serve for Santa Clara here. One of the top serving teams in the conference. And that was an easy one for Heather Knighting. As Knighting leading the conference in hitting percentage and number three in the country at 470 with the kill. 11 to three. And it'll be Kenzie Kerber serving here for BYU. San Giacomo to Iletta. This is Tolino. Block again. To Iletta will try Tolino again. Blocked again. We'll try the right side for Schaefer and the Broncos. Tried twice on that left side, shifted it, and were able to squeeze one past the Cougars to make it 11 to four. To Eletta serving, Bauer, and Ballard Nixon leading the or rather, uh, number two of the conference in service aces for her, but she's there for the kill to make it 12 to four, Cougars. And now to be Taylor Ballard Nixon back to serve. 12 serving four, Levy Center in Santa Clara. Schaefer on the left side. Kerber there, cross court. Kat Georgiatis, beautiful job. And now it'll be Tolino from the right side. And it'll be a Bronco point after the error by the Cougars. And 12-5 is our score as Tolino goes back to serve. Ballard Nixon is out and Gretchen Reinert is back in. Tolino serving to her former teammate. Bauer. Broncos there as Livingston tried to tap it over. This is Schaefer. Big swing from Michelle Schaefer. As Schaefer, second on the team in kills per set, 3.5, just behind Julia San Giacomo. And it's 12-6. The Broncos trying to get some momentum here. And that one hits the antenna on the serve from Toledo. The service error. Has the Cougars up 13 to seven. As Maddie Allen goes to the bench and Heather Knighting back to serve. Front row of Kennedy Eschenberg. San Giacomo and too much for Kenzie Kerber. San Giacomo has the Broncos at 13 to seven. Broncos still looking for that first service ace. Eschenberg, Kat Georgianis diving for that dig. Broncos not going to get there. As Whitney Bauer, the first team all-conference junior center, 
and was the 2021 Spring West Coast Conference Player of the Year and Setter of the Year, and now she's back to serve. Handled nicely by SCU. This is Schaefer. Bauer with the diving dig. Livingston down the line, off the block, and in for the Cougars. And they now lead it 15-7. And Aaron Lindsay is going to call another timeout. This is her second here in the opening set. BYU against Santa Clara is an exclusive presentation of the WCC Network on Stadium. For more live West Coast Conference broadcast features and information, go to watchstadium.com and wccsports.com. And if you're looking for a quote on a new car, home, or life insurance policy, go to Mike Walsh. Dig, well done by Bauer, but not high enough for the Cougars to do anything with it. So out of the timeout, the Broncos with a point, and we'll have the serve for Michelle Schaefer. Allen, Bauer, Kerber, back row. San Giacomo, and Bauer slipped that one off the block. And the Broncos starting to string together some points here. 15-9. Back-to-back points. Grace Wee has checked in for Aaron Lindsay out of that timeout. Allen. And mistake. Bauer and Gretchen Reiner not on the same page. 15-10. Broncos increasing their hitting percentage up to 200. Still trailing. BYU's 474. Allen, Livingston, Kerber, and that one drops in. Kenzie Kerber. Livingston out. Reinert out. Taylor Hefo, who wears the number eight, back to serve with a 16 to 10 Cougars. Jump serve from Hefo. Nicks the tape. To Iletta for Schaefer. And too much for Bauer. That one got on her quickly. And Michelle Schaefer swinging the hot hand for the Broncos in this match. It's now 16 11. And Schaefer with a team high five kills. In fact, a match high five kills. It's San Giacomo to serve. That one deep. That one sailed out. 17-11. Broncos trailed 5-0, 7-1, and 10-2. And since 10-2 have outscored BYU 9-7. Trying to get back on the right side here. Double clutch from Tulino. This is Kerber. And into the block of Tulino. And the Broncos sophomore, an ear-to-ear -ear grin. Alex Anthony will come on here. Coming off a nine-block outing against St. Mary's for the Broncos as Anna Stuckey will serve. 17-12 Cougars. Bauer. Tulino. What a dig from San Giacomo. Tulino again. Taps it over. What a pancake again from Bauer. But a diving Maddie Allen cannot lift it over the net. And a little more energy in the building as the Broncos now within four here in the opening set. It's 13 serving 17. Another try for Stuckey here. Tough one to handle. That one is bumped over by Aria McCumber. Schaefer. Bauer. And this one is out. Bronco point. Long. 17-14. And now a BYU timeout from head coach Heather Olmstead. So Santa Clara, after that last timeout at 15-7, Bauer. And setting Taylor Ballard-Nixon, who drives one into the court on the other side. 
and it's out of the timeout. First point to BYU. 18-14. And it'll be Kenzie Kerber to serve for the Cougars. Lefty jump serve. That one dove over the net. And Sophia Tolino right down the line in the direction of Kerber, earning the kill for SCU. And Tolino now with four kills. And the Broncos back to within three. Neve Tuileta, the freshman. Bauer setting Ballard Nixon. And despite it going off hands at the net, it goes out for a Cougar point at 19-15. Ballard Nixon. Central Valley product. Back to serve again. Georgiatis trying to steer that to Tuileta. This is Schaefer off the block, tapped over. Tuileta is there. Georgianis a bump set for Tolino and went cross court in the direction of Kerber and that one out wide. Or was it? Yes, it was. Originally a point was given to the Broncos on the scoreboard here at the Levy Center. It is 20 to 15, back to back points for BYU. Tolino for Schaefer. Bauer. Livingston. Tuileta is there. And an attempt by Tolino to tap it over. That pass was drifting toward the net. Heather Knighting was there. And Aaron Livingston was there, resulting in yet another point for the Cougars. So at one point it was 18-15, BYU. Now it's 21-15. Schaefer. Back row, easy bump. And will this be a Bronco point? It will not. Santa Clara into the net. And the Cougars, 22-15. And Santa Clara needs to figure out a way to slow BYU down here as they're trying to cruise into a first set victory. Schaefer. Tolino. Oh, well done. Despite the dive on the back row from Ballard Nixon. How about Sophia Tolino to make it 22-16? She's having a good first set. Five kills, a dig. Nice serve for Santa Clara. Bumped over by Allen. To Iletta, San Giacomo. Reached back, could not get on top of it. And 23-16. Tolino out. Grace Wee, the junior transfer from BYU. So each side has a player that played for the other school last year. Cougars, two points from the first set. And Santa Clara's Michelle Schaefer feeling it here in set number one. Yet another kill for her. That is her sixth. And the Broncos down by six. After a slow start, Santa Clara picked up some steam. BYU after a timeout. Putting the points together. Dive from Tuilenta. This will be Schaefer. Down the line, handled by Allen. Santa Clara's Tuilenta. Well done. This one drifting at the net. Schaefer. And the block from Livingston and Eschenberg. Set point for BYU. And at times, their block looks impenetrable. It's Whitney Bauer. Serving for the first set. And an ace. Could not have come at a better time. First set to the Cougars. 25-17. 25-17. And don't go away. We're just getting started. Set number two coming up right after this. This is Santa Clara Volleyball on the WCC Network. 140 attack percentage is 
the product of a hot streak they had in the middle of that set after trailing by as much as 10-2. to two. They got it to within 18-15, to 15, but then only scored two points the rest of the way, and the Cougars take the opening set. Cougars swept through Pacific and St. Mary's in Provo on the 23rd and the 25th of this month. Other than the loss at Pitt on the 10th of September, they had to go five sets against Weber State in a victory. And other than that, all sweeps. This is for Tolino. Off the block and out. And the Broncos have point number one. You heard Sophia talk about the in the pregame interview the things that she felt she needed to work on after the spring season. Learning and applying what she learned to practice and then taking that into the match. Kerber on the short set to the far side. And Kenzie Kerber has things even at one. But really just moving forward. You know, you could spend a lot of time looking back at mistakes or past matches, but at some point you've got to start getting your head around the next one and improving. San Giacomo, Alex Anthony tapping it over. Does it drop in? Yes. The senior from Los Gatos, Alex Anthony. And the Broncos with a nose in front here. Alex Anthony's first kill. As we said, coming off a match where she had nine blocks. Tolino, nice serve, handled by Allen, and this one will go out. There's a service ace for you. And for Santa Clara, that's their first of the evening. And Tolino back to serve once again. 3-1. That one whistling over the tape and out. Julia San Giacomo thought it might have touched a fingertip or that's not going to be anything that our referees, Eric Asami and Stacey DeWitt, take a look at. So it's 3-2 and Kerber serving for the Cougars. That one hits the tape. Man, as it drifted back over the net, Heather Knighting was there to slam it down. And we're all even at three. Kerber again, lefty serve, dipping over the net. Schaefer, Bauer, Ballard-Nixon, and nobody was there. Alex Anthony, Michelle Schaefer were there for the block, but once it hit their hands, it just dropped harmlessly to the floor. And BYU, after trailing 3-1, has three consecutive points. Some moisture on the floor, so as that's taken care of, we can remind you that tickets for Santa Clara volleyball matches are on sale now. Go to santaclarabroncos.com slash tickets or call the ticket office, 408-554-4660 or email broncotickets at scu.edu. Four serving three, second set. Cougars took the opening set, 25-17. San Giacomo. Nice back row dig. And another point for the Cougars. Aria McCumber seeing some action here for head coach Heather Olmstead. But it's Kerber serving again, 5-3. This time we'll try Schaefer. Georgiatis to Iletta setting San Giacomo. Georgianis again to her knees to dig that one. Ballard Nixon tapping it over. That set a little bit in front on the slide. And well done by Knighting. 6-3. And it's five consecutive points for the Cougars. Kerber 
Toledo calling for it. San Giacomo. Allen. Bauer on two and catching the Broncos off guard. And now it's 7 3, and we'll have our first timeout. And we'll take a break. Oh, and out of that timeout, sailing one long. So the Broncos get one back, but so far have not had an answer for the defense of the Cougars at the net. And the play of Talon Ballard Nixon, who leads the Cougars with six kills. Jump serve from Georgiatis. Bauer, back row Kerber. <laughs> Stuckey stuffed by Heather Knighting. And at times, Aaron Lindsay said, when we have Anna up there, we're going to be undersized. And that was definitely the case as it is now 8-4. to four. Don't get me wrong, Anna, an outstanding player and could do so much and being asked, asked a lot of to be up at the net and undersized. San Giacomo, this time, Julia gets one. That's her fourth kill. You can see Santa Clara just looking, trying to find a seam past that front line of the Cougars. Taylor Ballard Nixon out. Schaefer serving. Gretchen Reinert and Bauer trying to slam that one down over the net. 8 6, back to back points for SCU. Schaefer back to serve once more. Reinert, Bauer, back row. Kenzie Kerber. Kerber's fifth kill. Outstanding hitting percentage for the Cougars here in the second set. 667. San Giacomo. What a set. That one went on a, on a platter. Even though Heather Knighting thought she was in good position for it. San Giacomo is rarely turned away when the sets are right like they were there. 9-7, to seven, and now Julia back to serve for SCU. There's a jump serve, and Gretchen Reinert had that eater up a little bit, and even between her and Kenzie Kerber, and Kerber looking over at Gretchen Reinert saying, let's just talk, we'll get this right. 9-8 on the service ace. Broncos serving to pull even here in the second set. Livingston. Aaron Livingston with a rocket down the line. For 10 to 8. Livingston, who was having success early in that first set, earning her fourth kill. Bauer serving. This one drifting over the net. <laughs> Tuiletta with a one player blocking crew right there and the Broncos now serving once again to pull even in this second set Broncos trailed 5-0 in the first set only got to within 3 and lost it by 8 Kerber block it's Alex Anthony and Nive Tuiletta. And we're even. BYU is going to get the best of whichever team they play. And Anna Stuckey sailing that serve. Service error. Ballard Nixon is in. Taylor Hefo is in. Gretchen Reinert and Aaron Livingston out. Hefo serve knuckling over. Maddie Allen, Bauer, Kenzie Kerber. Broncos are there. Bump set for Tulino. The block is there. What a dive from Georgiatis to keep that going, but 
Sophia Tolino was on her back and unable to put a hand on it. Good effort by the Broncos, but ultimately BYU too strong on that point. Back-to-back points for the Cougars. Set for Tolino. What a dive from Allen. Kerber and San Giacomo has it eater up of the back row. 13-10. Aaron Lindsay used the timeout at 7-3 Cougars after the Broncos led 3-1. And it's another run here for BYU after the Broncos pulled even. Back row swing. Julia San Giacomo thought It was touch, looked over at her coach. The point will be to BYU, and Santa Clara will not challenge. 14 serving, 10. Looping serve. Tolino, well done. Eschenberg and Kerber were there, but the sophomore, too much power on that one. And it'll be 11 serving 14 with Neve Tuileta. Aria McCumber has checked in. Nice serve. Allen handles it. Bauer setting Eschenberg. Tuileta throws out the right arm. How about Tolino? And a beautiful kill despite an outstanding effort from Maddie Allen. And Sophia Tolino now leading the way with... Eight kills for Santa Clara. It's 14-12. And Tui led it back to serve. A dive from McCumber. Tui Letta for Tulino. This one just slides over the tape back on the Broncos' side. Tulino again. Allen. Bauer. Bronco block is there. BYU resets. Kerber, and now it's Schaefer. Tried to tap it over, but Kerber came over to help. Ballard Nixon, what a dive from Georgiatis. How about Sophia Tolino? Maddie Allen is there. Top quality volleyball here at the Levy Center. Schaefer, well done. And the Bronco fans here at the Levy Center enjoying this. Run by Santa Clara to pull to within a point. And it'll be a timeout for the BYU Cougars. We will keep it here. Serving 14. Cougars up. One set to zero. McCumber. Bauer. Ballard Nixon trying to go down the line. Georgianis bump set. Tolino taps it over. A dive from Bauer. Allen in to help. Ballard Nixon off the block. To Iletta. And now it'll be Schaefer. And it drops. Ballard Nixon got a fingertip on it. And then it didn't go very far. She turned around and then had to make quick work to get her hand on it and could not. And we're even at 14, just like we were even at 10. Just like we were even at 3. Broncos serving. McCumber. Bauer. Broncos. Good defensive work, and that one will be a Bronco point. And Santa Clara has their first advantage since they led 3 2. They lead it 15 14. And for the Broncos, that is four, make it five straight points. What a dig from Georgiatis. Tolino not taking any chances. Bauer setting. And Kenzie Kerber, who had tried from that side a few times, was not denied there. We're even at 15. You just feel the energy in the building going up. Between these two sides. Allen a jump serve for the Cougars. Schaefer calling for it. Now it'll be Tolino. Allen setting Kerber. Tolino the back row with the dig. Or correction, San Giacomo with the dig. 
tapped over, a diving dig from Bauer. And it's Ballard Nixon delivering the goods for the Cougars. And it's BYU back on top here in the second set, 16-15. One of the things that Aaron Lindsay has mentioned a few times in the non-conference schedule and then at the start of the conference schedule is this Bronco team doesn't quit. Kerber to Iletta. Got into position to dig and it didn't, the ball didn't end up where she had planned. And the Cougars have a 17-15 advantage and this time Aaron Lindsay gets the timeout. As a 15-14 Bronco lead has turned into a 17-15 second set advantage for the Cougars. Tuiletta assists and digs, leading the way for the Broncos and a service ace. So out of the timeout, the Cougars continue to roll. That is four straight points in this run. And it's Matty Allen, another serve. Broncos struggling with her serve, but Tolino into the block. And that's Kerber and Knighting turning back SCU. And right now, no answer for the Broncos in this run. Allen back to serve again. Line drive handled by San Giacomo. Tolino. And able to get that one off the block and over the head of the jumping Matty Allen. Broncos are going to Tolino over and over, and she is rarely disappointed tonight. She has a match-high 10 kills as the Broncos end that 5-0 run. 1916, and that serve is wide. And it'll go to 20-16. Sophia Tolino out. Grace Wee is in with Georgianis. San Giacomo to Eletta Schaefer. And I believe it's Alex Anthony. Kerber serving. To Iletta. San Giacomo. Kerber, nice dig. Bauer setting. Ballard Nixon. Finishing. 21-16. BYU for the match. Out hitting the Broncos. 350-162. Kenzie Kerber. San Giacomo. The dig sails back over to the Broncos side. Another try. This time Schaefer. What a one-handed dig on the back row by McCumber. Bump set for Georgiatis. Kill attempt is wide. Schaefer couldn't sneak it in. 22-16. Kerber again to serve as BYU tried to put away set number two. For San Giacomo, cross court. This one is wide. Right in front of BYU coach Heather Olmstead. BYU has scored nine of the last 11 points. And that serve is long. On a Stuckey for Alex Anthony. Kat Georgiatis, the WCC Defensive Player of the Week two weeks ago, will serve here for SCU. Down six and down a set. Kerber, Bauer, Ballard Nixon. They've gone to her, and with that being her ninth kill, she has rewarded her teammates. Set point, 24-17. Ballard Nixon serving. Georgianis, we bump setting Schaefer. Handled by Kerber. Back for Livingston. Schaefer, well done to block that one. They'll go back to Michelle. 
down the line. The block is there. San Giacomo diving, but it falls. Last touched by SCU, and BYU has taken the second set by the same score as set number one. Cougars 25, SCU 17. Two sets to zero. Cougars, when we come back, we'll try and put the Broncos away and San Except to start. Ticketmaster is the smarter way to buy tickets to live events. If you're looking to experience the excitement of all the best sports, concerts, and theater events, visit TicketSmarter.com or download the app right now. Don't miss out. Smart fans start at TicketSmarter.com. Anthony Passarelli with you, ready for set number three between the Broncos and the Cougars. This spring, which was the postponement of the 20. 20 fall season the Cougars went 15 and 1 and were unanimous pick as Kenzie Kerber gets things started with a kill right down the middle they were the unanimous pick well except for one vote I think let me go back and look here yeah San Diego got one vote in the coaches poll for first BYU got nine Bauer serving, Georgianis backpedaling, bumped over by Tolino, Gretchen Reiner, Bauer, Livingston. And it'll be another one for BYU as that was touched at the net by Santa Clara. So the Cougars off to a 2-0 start. And Whitney Bauer will serve. Such a tough serve. That one spinning forward. Tolino right into Eschenberg and Kerber. Eschenberg at 6-5. Kenzie Kerber at 6-3. And it results in a third straight point to start this third set for the Cougars. Tolino to Iletta. Overpassed it. Still the Broncos keep it alive. Deep for Gretchen Reiner. Kerber again. Just kind of hanging out there on that far side. She now takes over the team lead and ties Sophia Tolino for the match lead. Match high and kills at 10. 4 0 Cougars. This one is long. Whitney Bauer saying, My bad, my bad. Broncos on the board. Santa Clara will have San Diego 1 o'clock here at the Levy Center on Saturday. One serving four in the third set. Gretchen Reinert seemed to be in two minds there. Gretchen, you couldn't have blamed her had she let that one go, but did not want to take a chance. The service ace, and now the Broncos... Two serving four. This time they let it go. And it's a service error. That is the seventh service error for the Broncos to three for BYU. Correction, sixth service error. Hefo serving. Schaefer off the block and out. Eschenberg. And Ballard Nixon providing the resistance at the net. Five three. A dipping serve. Ballard Nixon. And a miscommunication between Stuckey and San Giacomo. Really, it was just a get it over hit. And it results in a point for the Cougars. You cannot afford mistakes like that against a team like BYU, especially if you're trying to come back from two sets down. San Giacomo. Ballard Nixon. Somehow the Broncos, after it ricocheted off of Sofia Tolino, were able to get that one over the net, but... BYU relentless with a kill for 7-3. 
I'm not sure where that caught Sophia Tolino. Maddie Allen serving. To Iletta. And this time San Giacomo goes cross court for the kill. That is her sixth of the match. Julia San Giacomo had 16 kills at St. Mary's and has had at least 15 kills five times this year. Kerber. And down the line, that one pass drifted over the net for Ballard Nixon right at her wheelhouse to make it 8-4. to four. Ballard Nixon 11 kills, 10 for Kerber to go with seven digs. And then Aaron Livingston with five kills. Once again, hitting well, 667 here in the third set, but committing the service error as the Broncos back to within three at 8-5. And it'll be San Giacomo serving. Twenty service aces for Julia coming into tonight's match, and then puts that one into the net for the service error. It's nine five. Aria McCumber out. Taylor Ballard Nixon with a jump serve. Nearly an ace. Sophia Tolino. On the slide, Bronco Block is there, turning back, knighting. But Bauer, so smart, took a peek over the net, saw there was some space there, and just dropped it in. And 10-5 is our score here in the third set. Cougars took set one, 25-17, same score for set two, and they have a 10-5 lead here in set three. We will take a break and come back for more third set action We'll look to try and turn things around here in the third set. Trailing 10-5. Schaefer to Iletta. Tolino. And this will be a point for the Broncos. Heather Almstead calling over Whitney Bauer. We may have a challenge here. And indeed, Almstead reaches for the challenge card. Says something to Stacy DeWitt, our referee down on the floor. And they will challenge this point, the Cougars will, a point that was given to Santa Clara, which would make it 10-6. First challenge of the match comes here in the third set. Ten six is the score, but we'll see if that challenge overturns. The point awarded to SCU. The best way to stay connected to Santa Clara Athletics is on social media. Check out the Broncos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat for exclusive content of your favorite teams that call the Mission Campus Home. You can take a screenshot of that if you want. You got them all, the handles. And if something happens <laughs> with the Broncos or Santa Clara Volleyball, you'll find out at one of those locations. Also, West Coast Sports Institute is home to the doctors who care for your Santa Clara Broncos. They serve the sports medicine needs at the South Bay and are located on Lafayette Street near campus. Go to the West Coast Docs or just westcoastdocs.com for more information. As advertised, the BYU Cougars, number 10 in the country, have had the upper hand all night despite areas of strong play from Santa Clara. BYU, top to bottom, some of the best talent in the country. Stacy DeWitt still at the courtside monitor.
now said something to the replay official. Comes over to the scores table. Now leaning over. And it looks like she's made her decision. The point was awarded to Santa Clara. And the point will stay with Santa Clara after that review. Stacy DeWitt then says something to Heather Olmstead. 10-6 is our score. And Kat Georgiatis back to serve for the Broncos. Down two sets to zero. Georgiatis for Santa Clara. And the service error for the Broncos. That's been a struggle tonight. That's their eighth to make it 11-6. And Heather Knighting. Knighting, the junior middle blocker. Tolino. Knighting is there. This one drifting to the sideline. Schaefer, how about Tolino? Blocked back. Eschenberg and Bauer. A celebration of BYU. Players right there. It is 12-6 Cougars. 10 blocks for the BYU Cougars. Bauer. Kenzie Kerber. As it went off of Santa Clara, and despite the effort by the Broncos, well, the players on the court looked over at Aaron Lindsay and said, let's go ahead and challenge that. They're one for one so far in terms of challenges going their way, so that's what will happen here. The point has been given to BYU, and Santa Clara will challenge it. Aries. Broncos point, so Santa Clara challenged it and got the point. So it is 12 to 7, and the Broncos serving. So the challenge has been good to the Broncos tonight. Gretchen Reinert, Bauer, Livingston to Iletta. And right there at the net, Kennedy Eschenberg. Earning the point for BYU, it's now 13-7. Kennedy, five blocks to lead the way for BYU. Michelle Schaefer, that one was set too far in front. Eschenberg and Kerber there for the block. 14-7, and Aaron Lindsay will call a timeout here. So while Aaron Lindsay talks to her Broncos, we can tell you about J.J. Albanese as a longtime supporter of the Broncos and the community. J.J. Albanese has been a leader in Northern California construction since 1955. J.J. Albanese, proud partners of Santa Clara University. There you see the numbers, identical first and second set scores. And in fact, in... The first set, the Broncos got down early 5 nothing, In the second set, they had a 3-1 lead. But right around that 6th, 7th, 8th point, the Cougars really put their foot on the gas, and despite Bronco resistance, just past the midway point in both sets, BYU was able to regather and finish things out. There you see them out hitting Santa Clara. In fact, I don't think we've talked about the fact that they are the number two team in the country, are the Cougars, in hitting percentage at 323. They're doing better than that tonight. Number seven in the country at kills per set, just over 14.3. Number nine in the country in aces per set. And number 13 in assists per set. They do a lot well. <laughs> Whitney Bauer will serve for the Cougars, 14, serving 7. That one was knuckling in the direction of Sofia Tolino. Michelle Schaefer 
with a bump over to Gretchen Reinert. Bauer, Eschenberg, and that one caught Neve Tuiletta right in the shoulder. 15-7. Livingston's fifth kill. Taylor Ballard Nixon leading the way with 11. That one nicking the tape in the direction of Schaefer. Livingston, here comes Bauer. Kerber. Kerber adding to her total. That's number 11 for her in the kill department. 16-7. The scoreboard has not added that last point for BYU. And in the meantime, Sophia Tolino sending one wide. On a Stuckey out, Lexi Papinga has checked in for Santa Clara. Lexi, 6'2", sophomore, middle blocker. It's now 17-7. That overpass and spike down from Aaron Livingston. Livingston earning her sixth kill. BYU just continuing. Relentless. Can the Broncos turn them back here? Bauer. Kind of an off-balance set, but Kennedy Eschenberg came flying through to see that one to the other side. 19-7. And we'll see Nani Spar, the sophomore outside hitter for Santa Clara. Sophia Tolino sails one long. And now BYU like a runaway, runaway train here. Nani Spar in for a point, comes out. And it'll be Bauer back to serve once more. It was 12-7, eight straight points for BYU here in the third set, trying to close it out. Tolino, nice dig by Maddie Allen. This will be Kerber. She hasn't been turned back many times tonight, and in fact, Kerber's 12th kill has only committed three attack errors. And it's 21 to seven, nine straight. Eschenberg out, Reinert in, Bauer serving. Tough one to handle for Sophia Tolino. Nani Spar runs that one down. Tolino sending it over. Bauer. Whitney Larinus. We haven't called her name because this is the first time she's been in. Larinus, the senior middle blocker from Bountiful, Utah, with a kill. 22-7. Michelle Schaefer. The Broncos have been spraying it to the outsides. They tried Schaefer there. And Michelle with her 10th kill, and that ends the run. 10 straight points for the Cougars. 22, or rather, 8 serving 22. Sophia Tolino takes the tape. Larinus, this is Livingston. Schaefer into the net. Taylor Hefo has been brought on to serve a few times tonight. She's serving here. That one drifting over the net. And we'll have a point for BYU. (laughs) 
Serving for the set and the match now. Taylor Hefo, 24 serving, eight. To Iletta. Off the block and out. Larinus and Kerber. And it's 24-9. The Broncos will be serving here. Papinga and Georgianis leave. Anastuki will serve here. Maddie Allen, Bauer, Kerber, to Iletta reaching back for it. Bump set from Stuckey. Schaefer, Bauer goes to a knee. Allen setting Kerber, and that'll do it. Kenzie Kerber with her 14th kill, and this one ends the match. 25-19 in the third set. And the Cougars, number 10 in the country, Make quick work, 25-9 in this final set.